Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about a kind of difficult topic, and I think it's one that is pretty important because I see it coming up over and over again. And this is not to assume, when talking to men or people that you perceive as men, not to assume that those people have not been victims of rape or sexual assault. Why is this important? That may seem like a common sense thing, like, you know, like it, it's possible that anybody you talk to as you go through your day could themselves be a survivor of rape or sexual assault. And um, it's good to be mindful of that. But I see a lot of people, especially people who identify as feminist, um, I see people speaking in such ways that like seem really ridiculous, like you would never say some of the stuff that they say if you knew that the person you were saying it to was themselves a survivor. Like, I've had people say this to me. I'm myself a victim of sexual assault. And it's really difficult to hear some of the stuff that people direct at people that they gender as male. I don't even identify as male, I identify as non-binary. I think that's kind of besides the point though, like, if I identified as male, if I identified as a man, like, I think the same things would be true. And I've known people in my life who are men who have had people treat them this way. Like, I've been present in discussions where this, this happens. Like, what happens is people will say things like, oh, because you're a man, you don't have to deal with the risk of rape and sexual assault. Or, because you're a man, you experience male privilege of being able to get away with rape and sexual assault. Things like that. I've heard people say things like, all men are potential rapists, and things like this. And like, just stop and think. If you're saying that to someone who has been raped, how incredibly insulting and insensitive is that? You're talking to someone who has never raped or sexual assault, sexually assaulted someone, and who themselves has had that done to them, and you're telling them, oh, like, I perceive you as a potential rapist. Like, honestly, my first reaction to that is to just be like, fuck you! Like, fuck you! You know, like, okay, maybe that's not the most constructive thing for me to say. The point is that, like, I often get angry when people interact with me in this way. I'm someone who really values consent. And I have, in some cases, overstepped people's boundaries and did things that those people felt uncomfortable with. And they were like, hey, like, you did this thing and it, it was not cool. And I felt terrible on the basis of that. But I've never sexually assaulted someone, and I've had that done to me. And I've also been stalked. I've had people overstep my boundaries in a variety of other ways. It's really painful when women or other people who identify as feminist come out and they're like talking about this stuff. I, I once was involved in this discussion online and some people were voicing these sorts of ideas and there was a man in the discussion who I didn't know and he was getting kind of defensive and I came to his defense and people just like jumped on him and they jumped on me and it was just really ugly. And the man later opened up to me that he was a survivor of rape, and that he wasn't comfortable voicing that in the discussion because it was so hostile to him. And like, I don't know, it just got me thinking. Like, I know another guy who was raped who, when he told people, no one believed him. All the people he talked to didn't believe him, and they blamed it on him, and they said things like, you're just doing this as a way of not taking responsibility for the fact that you cheated on your girlfriend. Like, people actually said that to him so much that he started to believe it. Like, I don't know, this is the awful stuff. And I want to make clear, like, I'm not downplaying any of the struggles that women have in our society. Both women and people who are perceived as women have unique struggles that men generally don't face. And I don't think that any of the stuff I'm talking about, like, makes that go away or anything. I just think it's important to be sensitive of the fact that when you're talking to men and when you're talking to people that you perceive as men, who may or may not be men, they might be closeted trans people or they might be people like myself who are non-binary or have some other identity and just look like men, at least on some days, um, when you're talking to people, don't assume that they have had a certain experience in life and that they haven't had certain experiences in life. 
Uh, I think in general, like, it would be better if we were sensitive of the fact that anybody that we talk to could be a survivor of rape or sexual assault. Like, that's the world we live in. It not only can happen to all types of people, it does, unfortunately, happen to all types of people, including men. Yeah, so be mindful of that when you're talking about feminist issues, when you're talking about sexual violence, especially when you're talking about sexual violence carried out by men against women. Like, yes, it's a serious issue. Yes, it's important to talk about it. But don't talk about it in a way that is going to be horribly re-traumatizing to people who themselves are survivors of these things. Like, that's what it feels like to me, like whenever I'm interacting with feminists, I'm putting it in quotes because I really don't think it's, it's characteristic of a true belief in gender equality. When I'm talking to these feminists, that's how I feel when they're going on and on and on about my male privilege and how I'm a potential rapist and how, like, I don't have to deal with all this shit. I'm like, well, I have dealt with some of this shit, so, I don't know. That's what I wanted to share today. A little bit of a heavy topic, but I'm still smiling, so I hope that this will have a, a positive impact on people. I hope that this can encourage people to be more respectful and more cautious about how they talk about this topic, especially in public settings, especially when there are people present who you don't know. Yeah, thank you.